the state of Indiana has some pretty aggressive goals and plans to achieve them. Especially when it comes to increasing the reading proficiency of its students. Mark Peterson is live in studio with us with that new reporting at 6. Hey, Mark. Oh, get ready. The reading revolution is on Indiana school districts. will soon be required to teach what is called the science of reading curriculum to help meet the mandate. The Bethel University has been awarded a Lilly Foundation grant to prepare its education students. C cat. C cat. D dog. This is what a science of reading lesson sounds like. It's a tried and true method of learning to read that focuses on the sounds of letters, letter groups, and syllables. I think we are going in the right direction. Again, a lot of research went into this. So is it a sure thing? Um, there, are, there are a lot of sure things, I suppose you could say, in the world. But um, if you're looking for a sure thing in education, um, this might be as close as you're going to get to it because there is so much re uh, reading research behind it. Not to mention so much writing on it amidst talk in the legislature of retaining students who don't meet proficiency standards by the third grade. And for students not meeting this key metric, they should be retained. Passing them along is a terrible disservice to the student and stacks the odds against their very own future. 81.9% of Indiana third graders passed the most recent reading proficiency test, meaning 18.1% did not. We need, though, to have students above 90. We need to have 95 or higher of our students who are proficient in reading. Um, that's the goal. We, while you think about, well, passing 81% on a test, that's not too bad. A lot of times that's a B in a classroom. Um, if you think about almost two out of 10 kids not being able to read and what would happen to them, I wouldn't want that to be my kids and you wouldn't want that to be your kids either. Now the Mishawaka schools run a kindergarten class on the Bethel campus. You know, you saw those students already uh, into the science of reading. We want to thank Mrs. Cavanaugh for letting us sit in, even though we didn't quite meet the dress code. It was apparently uh, pajama day there. Mark, <laughs> how I'm gonna put them on when I get home. Right? Pajama day. <laughs> you put them on when you get home. That's Mark great. Peterson live. Mark, thank you. Great story tonight. Now,